Hey, Aero Podcast people, it's the one and only legend of winning, aka Low. And we back with another episode of the Peer to Peer Podcast. On my left, I have my co host, Agent Zero. Hey guys, uh, my name is Agent Zero, aka Agent. Whoa. Whoa. What? Whoa. What? <laughs> I fucked up. What? AKA Agent Zero. We here, man. You know, another podcast. How y'all doing? <laughs> Do too many K's right there, yo. Do yeah, yeah. Do too, too, too many K's. That was a slip up. Hey, yo, shout out to everybody out there on Spotify, Google, Stitcher, um, what's what's it? Apple Podcasts, mm. greatest of five stars, because mm. we drive these podcasts every Monday and Thursday. Unless there's a processing issue, in which case it might of be course, on Friday. You know, sometimes the processing be kind of messing up, so please forgive which, us. Which, on a side note, has been a problem for me the last week. Yeah. There's three videos of mine I've been uploading. Yeah. Okay, you're trolling with these. And not me like, the, we had the processing problem I'm on not, the podcast. I mean, for real. I mean, I dead recorded me. Let me just let y'all hear the audio. I recorded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them hear it, yeah, because, okay, yeah. Trying, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that. Um, yo, shots because I gotta give my my people a, a shout out, bro. Shout out to everybody there on YouTube. I deleted it. Tough. Mm. Shout out to everybody on YouTube who the subscribe button. We are over fifty k thousand subscribers. That's- hey, I man, we should have an applause. I know, button, yeah, I crazy. know. You gonna edit it in though? I probably will actually do that. Yeah. I know, I um. You too. And uh, yeah. Shout out to everybody out there who been supporting. We were, we hit over fifty k. We just hit over forty um episodes too. So we out here business booming, mm. and the, the channel's still growing too. It's ridiculous, but of Woo! course we could not have done it without the set, mm. without my boys, throw it my up. brothers. Throw it, yeah, throw it up, throw the bell sign up. Cause you know, you know, ain't nothing. What's the bell sign? Not, Is it like this? Love. Is this a set? Go and ring that bell real quick. <laughs> ain't ain't nothing but love for the no the gang 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 gang. You know what I'm saying? And of course, as always. People on Twitter, mm. word of mouth. Mm. Show me what that. No, I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. That's OD. That's that'd be OD, right? I don't even know what she's about to say. Yeah, no, nah, never mind. But yeah, shout out to the word of mouth people as well. You know, always <coughs> showing us love, pushing it forward. You know, right now I'm trying something new, the arm, so you can see my face a little bit more. You know, it's making it easier for me to like snap the the, the thumbnails and to get my face out there a little bit Look more. Look at you. You know what I'm saying? Look at you, man. I can't wait to get another. You know that thing I ordered like. Four months ago has not arrived. I got scammed. I'm about to find that company and put them what on What was blast. that? The thing that's supposed to record that screen so uh, we could pull oh, it yeah, 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 yeah. That shit just never, I just think about it yesterday. It did not never arrive. Damn. Man, that's tough. <laughs> yeah. They just robbed They just you. took like $200, didn't give me my shit. So I'm about to most definitely take them to small claims court and malign their whole name mm. through the mud. Interesting. I'm about interesting. to find out who sponsors them. H3H3 taught me that shit. That's what, that's what they're doing now? <laughs> If you got beef with anybody, we coming for the sponsors, bro. <laughs> Big facts. It's taking all your sponsorship money and nothing you can do about it. Um, I don't know what you want to leave with, but I, I just briefly, I want to talk about you, the whole other shit with B. Simone. I know we talked about it last. Um, what is she? She did some other shit? Yeah, she did some other shit. Damn. So she dropped the book. And oh, word. The, the book was straight trash. Have you read it? No, it's not. It's not even really like a reading type of book. So how you know it's trash then? You can pull it up. B. Simone book. So the book, so I don't, people out there who don't know B. Simone, um, black entrepreneur, you probably could have just stayed on Twitter. Um, Why don't you tell me that shit, bitch? My bad, my bad, my bad. Black entrepreneur in Atlanta. And um, she does. She's from Atlanta things. too? Yeah, she's from, yeah, she's oh, from Atlanta. Oh, shit. She does a few things. She was really known like maybe a year and a half ago off her, what you call it? So you clearly see the plagiarism. Oh, they said she plagiarized? Okay. So is this her book right here? So on the right is her book. And on the left is. is the literally word for word she copied. Oh, there's multiple pages. Yeah, this multiple shit. pages. Yeah. She didn't even try and switch up the order. I, this is the worst kind of friend. When you when when you let him cheat, or when Yo. you're cheating and you just don't even you don't even want to switch up the order. Use a different. Hey, do you know what thesaurus.com exists? Like you can find a similar word, man. You can find a similar word. That's how we dodged it. Because you know when you submit your back in the day when you submit nah. your paper. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you cited and quoted from a bunch of different papers, you're going to have a high percentage of similarities between things matched online. Did you guys have that? You used to submit your paper online to this thing that checks all of the internet to see if you plagiarized? No. Yeah, back we just day, used we, thesaurus.com. Back in the day, we did everything uh, on a typewriter. Look at look at these 50 questions to find your best self. Oh, she didn't put 50. Oh, wait, did she do it on top? I can't tell. Questions to find your best self. Oh, no, she did do it on top. Oh, wow. she did? That's tough. 
Maybe what if she? Yeah, hold on. What if she got like a license or something? What if she like? Asked, no, she didn't. No, she didn't ask the person. She's already, she's already um she openly admitted that no, like that stuff was stolen. She said that. Like she she claimed that the, her publishing team she should have double checked with her publishing team, but that her publishing team is the one who um that's what I would filled do. out. I'd the, blame my publishing team too. That'd be my first course of action. And if people aren't buying that, um, no one is, nobody's buying that because what that means is that a you didn't even like lick over your book. Which is crazy. You know, you know what you could do now. Whoever it is that made all these fucking posts, you could actually take all her profits. <laughs> yeah, court. that's crazy. You could, take, you could you could sue her to the death. So even if that book succeeds, she's not gonna be making much off of it. So now everybody making fun of her, um, sitting there saying like, "Hey, yo, be some more." You the same one we said, nigga. You can't like date a nine to five nigga. So you just up at three a.m. Stealing copy and, from copy and pasting, five. yeah, <laughs> copy and pasting from people. That's tough though. Like that shit is like word for word. What is I look? Let's read this advice. Nineteen lists to make when life gets overwhelming. I had the most overwhelming month of my life up until like a few days ago. Things that inspire you, things that make you happy, things you are grateful for this week. All right, let me just break all this shit down for you guys. Since the way it's pointless, right? Yeah, yo, I'm telling y'all right now. Can we get back on this piece of shit? Yeah. Self help is almost useless. Self help is useful what? when you're down bad. Right, a lot of people are down bad though. Okay, but if you're even like not, what's 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 the next level from down bad? Like if you if you like really close to like ended it all, then you might need some self help books. But even if you're a smidgen above that, you're not. You don't need that shit. I guarantee you don't need that shit. I I, because here's the thing: the reason I used to read a lot of self help low is because there was nobody telling me that shit, and so those would be the only people. Whether it was like a motivational speaker or a tweet. I, I did just look for quotes and shit. Those quotes would keep me going for like a week. You know what I'm saying? But that's all temporary. I'm, I'm not, I, don't, I, I don't even need self-help no more. I am my self-help. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, if I had a very difficult month, and I didn't go out and read no fucking book to tell me to be thankful for some shit, key dates. Like, like, do you see this shit, man? If I'm fucking overwhelmed, how in the fuck is a key date, like a birthday, an appointment supposed to help? Bitch, I'm trying to avoid thinking about that shit. I'm overwhelmed. Your happiest memories? That's just you just distracting me right now. This is not fucking help. When you're dealing in a difficult situation, you just have to learn how to handle that shit. When I'm overwhelmed, though, I do my regular Wim Hof breathing exercises mm-hmm. to clear my fucking mind. And then I remind myself I don't even feel stress no more. I just feel pressure. I just I just remind myself pressure can't stay. You, you know, you can't stay pressurized forever. Mm-hmm. Eventually, this shit's gonna fucking fade. Have you ever had a car roll over your foot? No The car tire When it rolls over your foot It actually doesn't hurt It just feels like A ton of pressure It doesn't hurt It just I don't know how to explain it to you But the people who've had A car go over your foot before So you, can, you don't break So no I don't So I don't It doesn't feel like A negative effect When I was overwhelmed None of it felt negative It just felt like Alright I'm ready for this This is Man I've been practicing Improving myself every day To handle situations like this I'm not gonna read No fucking book To tell me what to do Handled it Everything mm. from the sponsor situations that was way fucked to the videos. I was having trouble managing all the different channels. You know, problem here, problem there. A whole gang of problems in my fucking personal life mm. that was more overwhelming than the shit in my career. All of that shit. And yo, none of this would have helped me. I'm telling y'all right now. If whenever you feel it's possible, make your pivot. Don't, you don't need self-help. Let your friends be your self-help. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't have good friends, be your own self-help. Let your family be your self-help because they're there for you. You don't need B. Simone to tell you to look at your bucket list when you're overwhelmed, man. The fuck is that supposed to help, Lo? This is not even B. Simone telling it either. It's literally. It isn't, but she definitely co-signed it, it, though, because she stole it. (laughs) Oh, she she made them write the book. Yeah, so that was another thing people got pissed off at. It was literally, it was like a work, it was like a workshop book. We oh, really have to like man. fill in the lines and shit like that. That's tough. But yeah. it's actually worse than that because even I, the, the quality of the book was trash. Like the binding was really, really bad. Oh, for real? Like it wasn't like. So that, that that's the publisher's fault though. That stuff right there. Yeah, that, that's, the yeah, first, that, that's definitely the publisher. As the first time author, um, it is your fault because it's your book, but the publisher should have handled that. Yeah, that's definitely um, the publisher. But it lands on her too. What do you think about self help? Um, I don't know. I, I think it's fine. I just, I think a lot of people get caught up in like. I think a lot of people. 
like telling themselves things without actually executing on them. Yes. I think that's the problem. Where you end up like telling yourself over and over and over again, like I'm this, I'm that, I'm this and I'm that. But then you don't actually go out and do those things so you can turn what you're saying into like reality. Yeah. So the reason I feel so passionately about this is because when I watch a bunch of motivational videos, motivational, I bad memorize the fucking, it's all I would listen to when I'd walk around campus and shit. And it kind of kept me moving to a certain degree. So it was not entirely useless, but like I felt like a hypocrite. Mm-hmm. I would listen to like Les Brown say some shit that I kn- knew was a fact hundreds of times. I swear hundreds of times. And then I wasn't moving like it in my life. I just wasn't moving like it at all. So it's like, what the fuck am I doing? I get trying to reinforce positive things. You feel mm-hmm. me? I was just watching a video, um, valuetainment video. What's his name? Insurance dude, real big. I'm blanking on his name. I don't know his name. Though. But you know who I'm talking about from valuetainment. He made a video and he was talking about, um, he actually hates hearing negative words. Like mm-hmm. if someone on his team says the word tired, like he freaks out over that. Because like, why are you saying those things? He just refuses to believe that that even exists. You feel me? So it's like, you don't even let those thoughts enter your mind type shit. So I understand the idea of self-help is like flood your mind with positive things. Yeah. Positive things will come from it. But uh, for me, my experience, it was just really, really hypocritical. You know, I kind of just felt like, um, I don't know, man. I, just, I wasn't living up to the ideals of anything they were saying. It was just things that made me feel good in the moment. And then you delude yourself into believing that those feel good moments were positive experiences. But you ain't do anything with the, with that, the but moment. That's, but that's the problem is when people try to make it seem like if I'm just telling myself this, then that I am this. Like right. that's that's the problem where like people just act like unlike this shit we all be saying like when we watching videos and people be saying oh I deserve this and it's like but do you though like you don't like, deserve like, shit. There's nothing that you've done to actually deserve it. Now you can like tell yourself I'm trying to get to a point where I can claim that I can deserve it, but you have to get to that point where you legitimately deserve it. You just stating. I'm, I'm this, I'm that, I'm successful. Like, niggas is going around saying I'm successful or I'm an entrepreneur all the time. And they're not, they not actually doing the work to be successful entrepreneurs. Yeah, so yeah, that type of shit, that's where it can cross a line. But I don't mind, like, speaking things into existence. But you still have to... I don't even believe in that shit. You still have to do the things that you, um, that you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, you still have to execute. Word. Niggas um, just lack execution, that's, that's all. And, 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 you know, Duke memes about it in, in the A&P videos, but I genuinely believe that is the greatest quality to have in a person you know if you could just hand like man you ever just come across somebody that just gets shit done and it's so fucking refreshing so you you sit there and reflect on all the shit that's miserably failed in and around your life like man how come i couldn't get this shit done it was simple enough i couldn't get it done but here he is just boom handled this boom handled this he's not letting it get to him boom it's not that I don't know. So I just, I would have never spent $33 on a fucking book to tell me some shit I already know so I could feel a little bit better. So I think I'm moving in a positive direction when really I'm standing in the same fucking spot, if not going backwards, because time's running out. Time is the most valuable fucking thing. And you're spending it reading a B. Simone book. Get to work. Especially when those pages can be found on Pinterest. Cause that's yeah. What she, that's what she, <laughs> she that's got what on Pinterest. She, yeah, that's because she downloaded them at and threw them in the book. I wonder if they were like popular on posts on Pinterest and she was like, fuck it. That, it's only been out for, it's been out for less than a week. So I'm, I'm assuming it is. Like, niggas knew he was immediately like man i just started on pinterest like last week like what's up with you mm. you know you know what uh thieves say sometimes like, they just inspired me i was inspired by pinterest no nah, she <laughs> I, i'll get i'll give credit to be someone when she decided and said like nah like it was, it was my fault like i'm like she tried to like she tried to dub it on the publisher but she was like i'm the i'm the face it's my brand so i gotta take responsibility type shit however it's just like mad weird the only th- i'm even i'm uh, obviously it's crazy that she um what am I about to say? It's crazy that she is like doing that. Like she literally has like a whole book where pages of it is someone else's um, uh, ideas and work. Mm-hmm. How the only problem I have is like when she was saying I only date nine to five niggas. It's like, but if you she doesn't date, huh? You said she only dates. I mean, she only she only dates. Yeah. Oh my bad. Yeah, she doesn't she doesn't date nine to five niggas. And I'm like, but that's that's become a popular mindset. I've realized it is because that's not the first time I've heard it this week. But it's but it's almost like yo, like if that's. Like what do you be doing at three o'clock in the morning if you got another nigga doing your book? Like that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if you got someone, she's going through Pinterest. That's what I'm saying. If you got hustling through. <laughs> that's just, that's her hustle. <laughs> just be up liking Pinterest photos. Like, ooh, this right here fit perfect in my mm, book. Mm-hmm. 
But you're right. I, I don't know why. Like, I don't. I feel like some. I don't want to say all women, but I do feel like some women are like definitely attracted to like the concept of a nigga just going out and getting a whole bunch of money, and like they think to themselves like if he can like get it quick and fast, then like that's like way more attractive than a nigga having a nine to five. Even if the nigga working a nine to five, somehow could probably make more money or just as much. Okay, so those women. Are retarded. Oh, okay. here's why. Because even when you're an entrepreneur, how are most entrepreneurs being paid? They're either selling a product or through advertising. Now, if they're selling a product, um, they got depending or on service. the or service, depending on the platform they're using to do those things, they're probably still gonna have to wait to get paid. If they're being paid by advertisers, like on this yeah. YouTube shit, so I have to wait anywhere from 30 to 90 days to get the payment for the video I fucking drop. Yeah. Right? So I'm still an entrepreneur. Like I, I still hustle. This is my own thing. I'm not employed by anybody. But it's like when that's because of that's the argument they make. You, you have to get to the money quick and fast. Like how? Like did you mean drug dealing? Because that's yeah. you can get that quick. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. you had that in your hand. And unless it's an obnoxious amount of money, then you had to go through a whole another illegal process to clean it. Then you're fine. But it's like even legal entrepreneurs who had to hustle still had to wait for their fucking money too. So we're all waiting for money. We're on this fucking shitty rock waiting yeah, guess, for money. I guess you're right. I never thought about it like that. They, they might as well just say, I want a, a drug dealer, nigga. Yeah, because that's, that's what really they want. Because yeah. it would have to be illegal for you to not have to wait. And yeah. Anyway. Unless you desire mowing lawns. <laughs> and what's crazy is they would they never wouldn't date. They wouldn't be attracted they to that. that. Yes. Yeah. They wouldn't date nobody it's not, like that. That's not what I had in mind. Like, my ideal. I, wouldn't, I wasn't thinking that would like. Be, and we should dead ass. That should be like, like I think he's like, what if a nigga was just mowing lawns but was making bank? And what getting that you, money immediately. Should, you know what they probably say? They, as if they're one entity. Um, but like, but like, he has to be like the CEO of like the landscaping company. And like, awesome's like, oh man, what if he just? Had, what he if just, he is though? What if he is the owner? Like, he's the owner and the CEO. Like, what if he fits all those qualifications? It's just that this nigga cut grass. Well, no, even if he's a freelance grass cutter, he still fits those. Yeah, get money like, off yeah. immediately whenever he wants it. Yeah. Was, some some I was watching a video. Uh, one of the women said, um, "Like if I ask for fifteen thousand, he should just be able to give it to yeah, me." Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I, 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 I was thinking like, yeah. man, how fifty? Like, yeah, she said she said fifty. Fifty? Right? Yeah. I was like, oh man! Nigga, like, First of what all, what world do you live in where no. nigga just like pop up with fifty racks and just like hand it to you easily? So drug dealing. That's basically what you're saying. Because there's no legal. There's just nowhere in in life. Where somebody, unless you're just dealing with a millionaire, that's another. But even even like ball players have to wait to get the check. You know, hey, you have to stop capping, bro. Because my mom fucking called me and she was like, um, she was just talking to me about shit, and she called you a millionaire, and I was like, he's not no millionaire, mom, <laughs> because you keep capping on these videos. People are believing you. Stop lying. Okay, fine. Eight hundred thousand. <laughs> right. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Like, fine. See, my mom asked me if I was a million. I was like, no, he's just lying. I don't know why he's lying. People believe that shit. All right, fine. We make eight hundred thousand. <laughs> like, I'm rounding up. Like, I don't. Care. But yeah, but in my mind, I was thinking like, why I'm, does I'm he? I'm telling myself that. Oh, okay. Just positive so imagery. I, like, exactly. Positive energy. So <laughs> why why does he have to come up with the money? Shit, if he's moving like that, should he already have the money? Yeah, like, does the guy you're fucking with not yeah. save at all? What's going on, man? I, I just don't want to see like what transaction is happening where a nigga can just be like, I got fifty racks on me right now, and I'm handing it over but to you. I actually understand the appeal. I get why that's attractive to them. I, I, to be honest with you, I don't. I do because I find not I to don't. the same degree as them, but if racks. I find a woman who's on her hustle, it could be any kind of hustle. Yeah, she could. Yo, you could tell me she's a like, like. I get that, but I'm, I don't want like, nobody like, that like I have to sit there and ask. I don't find I don't yeah. find it appealing where you have to ask me for money, and if I don't give you the fifty racks instantaneously because I don't make it like that, then all of a sudden that's a problem. I don't know. I don't understand <laughs> why you find that attractive. You know how delusional you have to be to be like, "What? You only give me forty eight, man? What the fuck?" Yeah, like what's up with you, nigga? Like you just, you just start hustling, nigga. Yeah. I mean, I got I got to fill in the rest of the. But two I don't racks. I don't like to ask for shit that I can't already provide myself. You feel me? So if she's asking for that type of, if she's if she's expecting me to be able to move like that, she should also be able to move like that. And she probably isn't because <laughs> yeah, she's not. I don't no. know a person who could just come up with fifty. I might know one person who might be able to do that, and even he probably can't do that. I don't know nobody who can just come up with fifty racks just like that. Never. 
It, you well, like, I mean, legally, me you, legally, me you, legally, me and you can do that. Do. All right, you got everyone convinced I'm balling. You are. I'm I'm nice, but I'm not balling. <laughs> yo, come on, yo. You see, you see the car outside. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's put some shit into consideration now. Got the car for what? Forty eight. Okay. On sale. You know what I'm saying? Hustled. Then got the number all the way down. Negotiated. The mods were mainly with plugs. Okay. But maybe twenty on the mods. Okay. And. That costs less than getting that car new. What I did to this car, that's 2016, costs less than getting it new. So you saved the money, so I know you got the 50 racks. <laughs> okay, all right. That's all you said. That's all I heard. <laughs> I'm saving the money, so I got the 50 racks. But, um, yeah, I, don't, I, I just don't understand, like, why. Look at me, any- man. I'm dressed in champion gear and was this, a Reebok is, shorts. Is it sponsored? No, it ain't sponsored. I'm just letting you know. I, I don't like people knowing I have money. You know that? But that's, it, but that's how most and, But that's how us Like a lot of us millionaires work Like that's how we work And to the point where I've actually been driving my M4 less mm. Because I've, Not that I feel I used to only I used to drive my M4 exclusively Unless yeah. I felt like it was an area Where yeah, 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 it's too sketch yeah. to I, bring I a car like yeah, that yeah, yeah, But now Just on some like I don't need I just pull up in the Land Rover yeah, I see what you're saying yeah, I, I see just you pull saying. up in the Land Rover Yeah yeah. I see I know, I, Sometimes I feel like that too Like sometimes it's like Be too busy So I'll be like yeah, I'll just pull up in That's the high, not I in the Highlander <laughs> It's cool It's cool I don't need to be seen Oh speaking of being seen I had my first Person Like yeah. in person Yeah encounter. you did Yeah wow. yeah That's so, crazy What was that like It was, uh, it was What it was did they cool. refer to you as Low Oh, okay, so they actually, know they actually know low. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, can I tell you right now? A majority of the people that bump into you are going to be very casual fans. Like they might notice you, but they'll call you by like a name that people that's familiar with you won't call you by. People yeah. call me like when they call me Agent Double Zero. You new to Atlanta? I still show love because like yeah. oh, man, I appreciate that. But they're not like fans though. You feel me? No, nah, but he- so when someone's like Agent Bro, last video, I'm like, oh shit, yo, that's you crazy. watched the last one? That's crazy. So how did it go? Um, I went. I was walking into a grocery store. Mm. Saw the little youngin over there. I was like, he just like, hey, hey yo, hey, are you low? And at first, I was like, there's no way. That's crazy. <laughs> and he's like, yo, man, I love you. You know, I love the uh, videos and stuff like that. And I just dabbed him up. He said, yo, I said, thanks for the support, youngin. You know what I'm saying? And I try to walk off smooth. You know, how to stay cool. You know what I'm saying? Had to just. Stay cool, you know. Yeah, what I'm just saying? like that, with your hips moving. Right. So then I got this, I got my drinks, came back. He was still like standing there next to the um, checkouts. I checked out real quick, and I was still trying to be cool. I was like, "Hey, yo, hey, yo, youngins, I see you later." As I'm walking out, damn near walked into a coworker. I mean, uh, somebody working there. As I'm like trying to like, "Hey, yo, youngin, you good? All right, I catch you later, <laughs> youngin. I catch you." And then damn near bumped into somebody who's working at the grocery store. But yeah, no, it was cool though because he was mad. How'd it make you feel though? I was gassed for like literally the next forty eight hours. I was gassed. I was like, nigga, I niggas know me, know me. That's crazy. That's crazy. But and I'm pretty sure showing your face for like a two, a few months. It's been definitely more than two months. A few months. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Only a few months, bro. Crazy. 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 Uh, crazy. This is how I do it now. Um, oh my goodness. Because I'm not, it happens fairly often um, to the point where, like, it's actually like a disruption to my day. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've, been, I've been around. It's not always somebody coming up to you. Sometimes they stare at you for like 30 minutes before they do it. And I'm happy you didn't do that. Yo, young, look, you're young, young, if you're watching, I'm happy you did not so just stare at me. This is, this is how I move now. Um, I actually won't address you, even if you know, I'll know if you know me. I'll know if you know me because you'll be staring at me. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't happen to a person you don't know. And if you're looking at your phone and looking at me, then I'll know for 100%. And I actually don't. I just move as if they're not there mm-hmm. until they start walking up to me. Mm-hmm. Especially if I have headphones on because I have to see you walking up. And then I'll like, because sometimes they feel like very nervous because I, I felt like that when I seen NBA players when I was younger too. So they'll feel very nervous. So I, I, if, you, if I see you walking up to me, they'll be like, it was good. And he could be like, if he doesn't know me, he'll be like, no, nah, nothing, man. It was just, and then it's whatever. But if you know me, he'd be like, are you, are you Agent Zero? Because sometimes they don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially because I have my hat on most of the time. When I'm outside, I don't usually have my hat on. So they might be like, is that, is that, is that? I'd be like, yeah, what's up, man? And then so boom, boom, boom. Jeez. But until they walk up to me, I, like it's, it, I can't just have it in my head like, oh, he's, is he staring still? I just pretend. I was, playing at, I was playing basketball yesterday at the gym. It's two people just fucking staring. They probably knew who I was. It was a 75% chance. Yeah. I just pretended like they were not there. Because what am I going to walk up to you to introduce myself? What kind of shit is that? I'm not about to do that. Man. 
can't even But it wait. is a great feeling though. It is a, it is an amazing feeling. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like now if um like if basketball games come back and we go to the games cuz y'all saying like That is actually the time. craziest reaction yeah. you get is at basketball games. Yeah, I can't To imagine. the point where like especially when you sit courtside cuz everyone behind you is going to see you yeah. <laughs> and tweet you and then yeah. you're like is that the back of your head agent? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's wild. And then there's a timeout and you get up and I swear there was times where it was like 20 people surrounding us and the security was like, oh, you guys can't do that here. And I'm like, I actually have no control over what they're doing. <laughs> I'm actually just trying to get a drink as well. So, uh, but yeah, it is, it is a great feeling, man. Yeah, that's tough. I'm glad man. you got your first interaction, yeah, man. Yeah, that shit was, yeah, that shit was this, dope. It is a great feeling. A great it lets feeling. you really know like how crazy what you're doing yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Like you can just impact people like that and just like a random person can just be like, yo, you're low. I'm like, oh, fuck, that's crazy. Yeah. So I was gassed for the uh, past couple of days. So that's what's up. Mm. And I can't, I'm dead ass. I just want to, now I just want to go to Hawks game. Just be like, me, right? Or, or just keep it me, right? But I, I need somebody to keep me in check though. Like we go to Hawks game. I need like you or Davis with there with me. Cause I'm just going to act reckless. I'm going to go there now knowing like, oh yes. You know, I'm low. You know what we do? Just on some funny shit. Yeah. Uh, like if we're at a mall or something, we'll laugh at the person who gets noticed the less. <laughs> the yeah, that's funny. Like uh, when we was in Vegas, um, everyone was pulling up, and, and we were like we were just taking pictures and everything. And mm. every nobody and Davis was a lot smaller at that time. Yeah. Nobody was asking to take pictures with Davis. That's tough. And so <laughs> we just looked at Davis, and he had this fucking straight face, and we were just making jokes. <laughs> <the whole time. laughs> Oh, and then shit. one person finally wanted to take a photo with Davis, and we all celebrated. That's <laughs> OD. But uh, just on some funny shit, not on no yeah, ego. No, we're trying to put him down, shit. Um, of course, I know. Oh, you probably talking to the people. Yeah, like um, when we was pulling up to do the video at that trampoline place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we actually had all the uh, all the AMP guys were there. We were just scout scouting the place, mm -hmm. and um, uh, we were walking. The guys were staring, and I already knew they knew who one of us were. Yeah. And they were like, "Yo, was that Duke?" And then he's like, hey, what's good, my Duke boy? Is, that, that shit right there is outrageous. Yeah, right yeah. Duke, Duke's cloud is... And then and they went from, was that Duke? And then he looked around. He's like, oh, yo, that's AMP. And that was the first time yo, we got noticed for AMP. So we all went, yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yo, Dude, that's the whole AMP. Oh, shit, man. That shit not even at um, a thousand. I mean, a million yet. Hey, I got to... You ain't got to... What does that mean? A million, right? You don't have one? I'm saying no. Oh. What? What? I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> you lost your fucking mind? I have a I video. I didn't realize how I many I million. had. Can I check? Because I didn't realize people care about this. I don't know why. I'm I, I'm telling you I'm detached because I should care about plenty of this shit that I just yeah, don't Beasel, care about. Beasel said he's never had a video that hit a million yet. Word. And for a while, just like, I don't know if Beasel going to watch this, but just so Beasel, you know. It was a good second when you had a video that was like 700,000 and I didn't have a video that was at a million and I was actually pissed. I was like, nigga, I, like, how the fuck do I get a video above these souls? I was literally struggling for a long okay. time. I didn't realize how many million view videos I had, but there's this one. And Davis told me he had a, he had a point. He's like, if you make this your channel trailer, there's a good chance in a year it could be the most viewed 2K video of all time. Uh, so I made it that. Uh, so mm. hopefully I can get there. All these is millions, 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 millions. Mm, I had to load up. Wait, wait, it's loading. Millions, millions, and it cuts off right here. Remember? And this one I just dropped recently, two months ago, about to hit a million. But remember, like your first million, though. Like who was in your first million video? Your first, your first one. I'm asking. I don't, I don't know. No, nah, but remember that one. Well, it's a wild title. I'm a beast when it comes to titles. Fredo, you forgot your script and your fake prank, dude. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's your first million? Though? You remember that one, though. Was it this one? 2K17 badges in real life? Which one? Oh, no. It was probably my worst jump shot video. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Who yeah. was in that one? I forgot. Who was in that one? Sure. I don't remember. You know, everyone's... Damn. That video, I, I did a reset rep wager. Yeah. And everyone saw my video blow up and ran with that shit. Mm. So... And I was doing it for real. Mm -hmm. So... And, oh, it was you. You reset your rep. Um, oh yeah, that's I was that's it. I was in it. Yeah, you okay, right, right, right. My bad. My Why bad. You my just bad. say you were in my it. My bad. I, no, I just <laughs> thank for jogging my memory. I forgot. For okay, um, I was in it. Yeah. So, Damn, I was in the so everyone that was copying the video uh -huh. was faking it, so yeah. they could actually spam the videos because they weren't actually resetting rep, 
And I couldn't do that because it's kind of difficult to find somebody that's willing to reset the rep. <laughs> <laughs> and I was willing to do that shit. I was like, fuck it. Um, and people just kept running with it. That that one's that's a lot of series that I started. The shooting mm. with this person's jump shot in 2K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Vortex came up with that. Now bare people are running with it. Yeah, true. There's, there's a so lot wait, of videos like, like that. Up. Is that one right there, right? 1.6. Jesus. That's Look how generic the th I'm pretty sure I made this thumbnail too Because it's just so fucking yeah. simple as some shit I I get it. So that was the first one That was the first one to mill That actually is a great thumbnail Now I'm thinking about it but That's the first one to hit a mill right? It probably was yeah 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 Okay yeah. So I anyway was, I was in that Okay um, I, 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 I Is it So let me know how you feel about milestones Because I don't care Like when Davis hit a mill Like I kind of forced myself to care uh, Because it's Davis And I didn't know how much that mattered to him You know what I'm saying but it, to me, it actually doesn't matter whatsoever. How you feel about milestones? Um, because I'm happy that you hit it, but I I know that means nothing. But it means something to you. But it actually means nothing except the value you put on it. For me, at least, so I I guess my biggest milestone for my channel, for our main channel, is 500k. Like that's the big one. Like I, the odds of me hitting a million on there, Kobe. The garbage is too full for it to hit anyway. But you didn't get anywhere near close to the garbage. I had to, I had to aim less because the, the middle of the garbage but was packed. But I'm just saying, but you weren't even close. So right, I know, even talking. if it was, I mean, if it was just bare empty, you still would have actually missed it. So that's that's what I'm saying. Hey, keep talking. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, my my um, yeah, watch out, move your feet. Oh, I was gonna say, Yo, what's up with you? Don't I feel saying? like plastic to you? No, I just, just felt some brush up against my toes. I was like, nigga, don't play footy. Okay, all right. So that's <laughs> don't ever do that again. Like dead ass. Oh, come on, stop, stop, stop. Come on, come on, yo, don't do that again. Because it's crazy, is bro, stop. Because your feet are like wet and cold. Like don't do that. Yo, I'm being dead serious. Don't play footy with me under this table. <laughs> don't play footies with me. I'm being dead ass serious, bro. Come on, come on, stop, 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 stop. Anyway, <laughs> y'all let me move like this. <laughs> When it, yo, come on, yo, um, for niggas the milestones, at least on my main channel, the first one is 500k. Like that's a big one I want to just reach because the odds of me hitting a million is really unlikely. Um, so for me, certain milestones leading up to the 500k, like the one I had set for this year is 300k on the main channel. Like that for me is just like that's almost like like it just it's almost like. Those type of milestones just let you know that you're actually making like some movements in the right direction. That's all it does for me. Like it just relieves pressure. I'm accomplishing things that I want to accomplish, and that's really it. But the big, big milestone, I think that I think the reason why people get, uh, I, yeah, I guess emotional is the right word because Duke was crying, and I'm pretty sure David's crying. Was dust. Well. It was dust. He said he had dust in his. No, he was crying. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, when I guess I I think the reason why they're emotional is because once it hits. The number, because honestly, it's not, yeah, you're right. There's no difference between 900,000 and a million, really. Like, I, I get it, it's a number, but it's no, like, financially speaking, you're probably not going to make that much of, like, there's nothing really that's going to change that much, honestly. <laughs> but I think it's just, like, people, when they hit the number, they start to, like, tell themselves, they start to remember, like, when they, where they were at, how hard they had to grind, and now, like, things are finally starting to pay off. And it's, just, it's more so just gratifying than the actual mi milestone itself. Like, you just hitting checkpoints. When, you, when you're when you trying to build, it's just like a checkpoint. But when you actually hit the actual big goal, it's just gratifying to know that you are, you actually accomplish and shit in your life. Because for a lot of people, they don't, like, there's nothing else. Like, this is it. Like, honestly, YouTube, for a lot of people, this is it. And on top of that, it was a risk for these people. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people did not believe in them or didn't agree that they should have gone in this direction. And so it's like you put a lot on the line just to like do this. So it's gratifying. Word. Um, you know, our family never really celebrated any like North American holidays. Mm -hmm. Even like when it was Mother's Day, like if we did something in class, cool. But aside from that, my mom would always tell me like make sure just make, make every day Mother's Day. Like, yeah. And we never really celebrated Mother's Day or Father's Day or any like, Thanksgiving, none of that. Mm. Um, so I kind of take that philosophy with everything in life. <laughs> Like, I'm just so thankful and appreciative, and every day I'm reminded, like, I, I remind myself, like, oh, man, it never used to be like this. Like, with everything in this room, all shit I'd have just dreamed about having five, six years ago. Um, and so I guess I feel like that so often that when a milestone hits, there's actually no way to, for me to feel more like that. But do you even set milestones for yourself right now? 
Uh, yeah. I mean, every month I, I set goals. They usually fly off the fucking rails within five days because some new shit pops up, like a vi- video is being demonetized or um. You, you can't use the regular studio thing. You got to do it like this. I can't do this many ads, so I can't make this much. So it's like there's always something that throws it off or like maybe mm. people don't give a fuck about 2K, so I'm not going to spam uploads as much. Like there's plenty and it always goes, but I set them anyway. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel, I feel like that so often. I don't wait for a milestone to feel like that or to feel more. I just, I don't know how, it, I can't feel happier about my situation. Like when I hit the milestone, I'm already at peak Satisfied and happy with my situation, but you don't feel like accomplished because that's that's really for me at least. It just you feel like accomplished, like you set something out and you did it. Like the same thing, like with your weight, with your weight loss. Like you don't feel accomplished when you actually hit certain goals. You just start losing weight in general. I try and force myself to care. Like I just oh, went man, down Jesus another Christ. like digit. <laughs> I went down another digit, and I was like, oh man, okay. But I, I still feel the same. I feel great that I'm more mobile. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I just, I don't care <laughs> because I always care. But that's the thing. I don't care because I'm so busy caring. There's actually no more care I could fucking give. You feel me? So, yeah, uh, I see what you're saying. But especially when, when you first start grinding really hard, it, there's a moment where you actually don't care. Like, I think there is a moment where like not not like you don't care, but you get so caught up in just working and grinding and just trying to continue to keep it pushing that you'll like just look up and all of a sudden like I don't even know like on my my main channel I just hit 200k like a week and a half ago I'm already at 207 like I don't even know I gained that many fucking that's a slight little flex that's a slight little flex I beat that 207 yeah so I don't even I don't even people did not like this John Stockton video maybe I maybe I maybe I maybe I hold on can we watch it for a bit no (laughs) hold on hold on let's watch a bit of it What's your problem, yo? My bad, my bad. Um, Damn, it was there was, yeah, was a lot of John Stockton haters. I mean, fans. Yeah, but he's trash, bro. Um, but no, it's it's just yeah, it's weird. So like, I didn't even it doesn't even not. I'm I've been like trying to piece everything together so much. I didn't even acknowledge like, oh shit, I looked up and I just gained another seven thousand subscribers just like that. So I didn't even I didn't even know like it was that it was moving like that. So I feel like a lot of times when you just Head down, working and grinding and pushing, pushing, pushing. And then you look up and you're like, oh, wow. I'm already at, you know, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000. Like, you want this podcast? Yeah, I feel that. Like, I wasn't even, I really wasn't even looking at the subscriber count until like the past, like, two weeks to, to a month. And I'm like, damn, we already almost at like 50,000 subs. Mm-hmm. And it didn't even really dawn on me like that. So, yeah, I feel like that's when it kind of catch you. Cause like, once everything starts going right and everything's clicking and shit like that. Then yeah, or or maybe just it's the way that niggas have outlook because I I know for a fact I'm a bit more pessimistic than most. I'm definitely yeah. way more pessimistic. Um, I'm happy that I am the way I am because um, I f- I learned early on through all the motivational fucking videos that you if you don't like enjoy the process, the milestones aren't going to keep you moving because eventually, like the milestone energy fades within a few days, maybe a few weeks, depending on how. Weird of individual you are, yeah. And then you got to go back to what works. So there's enough. There's some other shit to chase. You know, capitalism. More. You want more. You're never satisfied. You're never have enough. But I'm 100 satisfied. Boom. But at the same time, this cannot be the highest I go. I need to get more. Actually, I, I, I agree with what you're saying, and that's actually a very, it's actually important to point out. You do have to enjoy the process because if you don't enjoy the process, yeah, like you said, as soon as you hit the milestone, as soon as you reach your goals. You're not gonna be motivated no more because you never fell in love with the process. Yeah, so, so I, yeah, I agree with that. Agree even with that. even the shit that I hated doing, I that's forced some, myself that's some, to that's some bars, that's some gems you just I'm dropped. Just trying to let the people know. Okay, all right. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Yeah, even the shit that I hated, like um, for example, working out. Uh, when I, I used to work out all the time, I'm back. I'm actually back getting into it. You know, I bench 165 five by five now. Yeah, I heard you when you I was trying saying. to finish my video, and you I just I just saying. I literally for people that don't who don't know, like where I record at is like right next to the. Like the um the garage where just you put text stuff me if you're in. Recording. I know, but all I hear is like randomly. I just I hit the record button and went into the thing, into the little closet. Just making a record. stallion bumping. And then all I <laughs> no no not even that the last the, sometimes it be music bumping, but then the last time I just heard. Uh, uh, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I was like, nigga, what's your what's in my ear right now? Hey, to be honest, this is what actually what happened. Uh, a chick sent me nudes, right? And I was playing, and I was playing the video. What? 
And no, it, and no, I was like, yo, how no, come this weren't. shit don't have no fucking audio right now? No, you and I was not. like, is the Bluetooth on? So after playing it a few times, I dead turned off the Bluetooth because I didn't know what it was connected to. And I was like, oh, well, hopefully nobody heard that shit. That's that's actually what happened. No, it's not. <laughs> I I fail, I fail, I fail to believe that. I fail to believe that you just got some nudes, <laughs> and then some chick was moaning in the nudes. No, she wasn't moaning. I don't know what moaning you heard. I heard like moaning and grunting. Oh no, I, I don't even play porn off my phone, so that's not what that was. No, I think it was you lifting weights. Oh yeah, I, oh when I lift weights, I just, yeah. <clears throat> yeah yeah yeah. I so I just I just hear that, and I'm like, nigga, what the like? Oh yeah, it's just me being in my fucking bag, man. But just imagine me like walking into my room about to record, and I hit the button. I'm like, all right, let me get this in, mm. and I just hear you. Ugh. Oh yeah, that was different. Ugh. I wasn't moaning though. Ugh. I, but That's when I train. when That's I lift the weights, I don't train for hypertrophy. I, I train for strength, so I do five reps max. But that's how you. So sound I'm doing right. heavy weights. But you know that's how you sound, right? All right, so uh, that's how you. Sound. That's not how it sounds. Yes, it is. You've never been in the fucking room with me while I was pushing, so you don't know that. So the echo just make you sound like a bitch when you. <laughs> probably, probably like as the voice hits different balls <laughs> and the frequency just high gets higher pitched and shit. <laughs> no, it's not like you moaning in the other room. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, man. I guess, be, be I guess he getting it in on the bench. Oh yeah, that was different situations then. There, there was a time where I did that. And I think we'll leave. Literally we'll leave. yourself for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. But yeah, I just think that's all it is. I think people just get excited about hitting goals because they feel accomplished. Especially, especially what we do, because there's nothing else really to prove that you're making your strides. Like, mm. there's no college degree. There's no like paper. Well, I guess a plaque, but there's no like there's no paper. There's no like oh you got the job. Oh, you made the deadline. Like, we just literally uploaded videos and hoping that shit just works, mm-hmm. which is kind of actually scary. Like, niggas, don't, you don't even know if the video is going to flop or not yeah. until you actually oh upload the God. video. Can I talk about that? So, I've actually, I'm slowly mastering the art of not caring when it comes to that, too. Mm. So, this is what I do now. So, in the past, I upload a video and I'll check in the first five minutes in the first uh, 30 minutes because in 30 minutes it actually lets you know the performance yeah. relative to other videos so 30 minutes is an important metric I'll look again in an hour I'll look again in 4 hours I'll look again in 24 hours now, I still do all those things I just do it after I uploaded my 1000 hours with a 3 level score video yesterday on my main channel mm-hmm. and I ain't looked for a few hours and I was even when I looked while the shit is loading I just breathe like and I remind myself like regardless of whether or not it performed well or it didn't perform well mm-hmm. I'm cool. Yeah. I'll just adjust for the next video. And remember, gameplay videos notoriously do not do well on my channel. Yeah. But I keep wanting to try them because I need them to do well on the channel because <laughs> that's a very <laughs> good category f- to do well on your fucking channel. Uh, and I looked at it. It said five. It said five or four out of ten. And I was like, oh man, that's actually pretty good. But then I like centered myself again. Let's not get too gassed about the fact that your gameplay video didn't fucking flop like the last two. Mm. And then kept it pushing. So it's like. Um, that's that's very hard to do, and I even find myself getting anxious while it I loads. Get ang- I get anxious. Like too. when it's like if I click this dashboard thing right here, I uh, just get anxious in the three seconds it's loading up all the bullshit to so it could tell me whether or not I failed that day or I was yeah. successful. Um, not no, I get anxious when I'm like hitting, like I'm trying to like I'm, I know for a fact I'm in the last stretch of like making a video and I'm just like dropping down the audio clips. Mm-hmm. Like the, the music, background music, and I'll literally get anxious, like, oh shit, like I'm about to upload. Oh my God, it's almost done. I'm about to get there. And then I'll upload it. And then I'll literally do the same thing you do on the phone where I'm just like, keep clicking fucking YouTube studios. Like, has it been five minutes yet? Has it been 30 minutes yet? Has it been an hour? And I'm just fucking dragging my fucking phone, refreshing that bitch. Yeah, but I do the same thing. And it's like a peak level anxious. Mm-hmm. It's actually kind of like, kind of like a turn on. <laughs> Excuse me? Can you explain that? Like, I kind of, like, it's something I look forward <laughs> to. How about, is that, is that a better word? I don't look forward to it anymore. Actually, yeah, I look forward to it. Like, I just get, like, turned on. <laughs> I can imagine you just like, oh, wow, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas getting on by just uploading videos, like, just preparing myself, like, fuck it's been a, it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Fuck. I need that feeling on myself. Get goosebumps. Yeah. But I'll tell you this. Now that you have your second channel, I think it's going to ease some of that. Because the reality is the reason why we feel... Because to me, uploading a video and checking the results is the only thing in my life that doesn't feel like pressure. Where I genuinely get anxious and stressed out. Mm-hmm. But that's because I made it into a habit for so fucking long. I'm getting yeah. better at managing that. Um, 
but yeah, that's it's a truly horror. horror it's it's like it's like dropping an album. You don't know how that shit's gonna do, but yeah, you, you have to drop them so often. Yeah. But now that you have your second channel, we have the podcast. Your main channel, and uh, I have A and P. Ain't worried, worried about the podcast. My nigga's rocking with us on the podcast. No, but I'm saying when you have more, more areas, when one does bad, you're not tripping. It would really require all, all of my channels. Like if A and P had our first bad video, <laughs> my second channel is like 10k a first day. Like if everything just went left, like you then I might be K, like, oh. nigga, you did 10k first day. We had to have an intervention downstairs. Like nigga, what you do wrong? With yeah, you, so I think it would take a level that crazy for me to uh, genuinely. Feel the way I used to feel on a regular basis again. Uh, and it's not, and I want to, it's a balance though, because I don't want to not care, because I still want to look at the metrics and adjust, because anyone who survives on the platform for a long period of time does those. Yeah. And they do it successfully. Yeah. So I can't not care to the point where I'm not doing that no more, because then that's bad for business. I'd rather be fucking anxious and up the fucking wall with stress rather than fall the fuck off. I'd rather take stress any day without a shadow of a doubt. That's a fact. Yeah, all, not all stress is bad, by the way. Not all stress I actually is think bad. a lot of stress is good because I mean, well, it depends on how you, how you, um, how you maneuver around with stress. Like, if you're someone who just gets stressed and you like, you let that shit just eat you up inside. But I, I, I see what you're saying about the pressure thing because a lot of times I just know for a fact when I'm stressed, a lot of this shit that I'm stressed about can be resolved within a matter of a few days. So it kind of does feel like pressure that can just be re- like, um. Reveal? No, mm-hmm. no. Is it reveal? No. What is it? What's our word called? When you're releasing, right? I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> it just it feel like this pressure that can be, that you know for a fact can be released. So I know for a fact, like even though I'm sitting there thinking about all this shit, I need to get done. I just know for a fact once I actually start doing it, I'll be less and less pressured. But then, like, it just feel like also once you get done with it, you're like, oh damn, like. Again, you just feel accomplished and shit. Um, man. Yeah, for real. That shit, yeah. If, if you guys can find a way to convert stress into pressure, your life is going to feel so much better. And the way you do that <clears throat> is actually by recognizing that you're never in control with your life. You can do things to help influence the way your life pans out, but you don't know when a pandemic's going to knock you out. You don't know when you get kicked out your house because your landlord's fucking bugging. You don't know when... the the paper you thought you murked didn't do so well. You failed the class. You got to do this. You don't know. So just do what's in your control and actually drop all expectations. And remember that you're never really in control. You just do what you can to manage situations. That's how I move. Did my channel do bad? That's my responsibility. Let's see if I can fix that. I'm going to do the best I can to manage the situation. But even if it goes all the way left, I'll figure something out. And anyway, Second, I started thinking yeah, like that. Dry, dropping gems right now. Second, I started thinking now like that. Think about it. You're right. So what, what are you gonna do if, if the NBA disappeared? That's not under your control. Yeah. And you make basketball informant videos. You can continue to inform on basketball as best as you know how. Yeah. You might have to adjust based on the circumstances. But if it still doesn't work out, then what, what the fuck are you gonna do? You make a second channel. Boom. Now you're diversified. You got the podcast. Boom. Now you're div- you're a little safer. Maybe your Instagram's popping. Boom. You did what you could. Do yeah. what you can. That's all you could fucking do. Y'all bugging about the fucking result. Yo, when I put up a shot in basketball, I actually don't care whether or not it there was. Uh, oh, you weren't there for the video, the next AMP video. I don't want to say too much, but there was a clip where I did something crazy, and I actually didn't care about whether or not the shot went in. I just cared that I did everything in my pad. Did I get open? Did I do some funny, entertaining shit? Yes. Mm. And I put the shot up. So it's like. I did what I could, but the results can play out. It's not always going to be you that gets to decide how the fuck it plays out. It would be nice. I love being in control in situations. I just um, think, I'm thinking like... But you never really you, are, though. If you just, instead of viewing stress, if you view stress like pressure and you just know it can be released once you start like solving the problem, mm-hmm. the way your whole mentality will change. And also, don't put it off. Because when you put yeah, it off, obviously don't, it just yeah, sits don't in the back of your mind yeah, as like... And it doesn't go away. You just didn't think about it. You know what I also Even do? Even though we all do that. Yeah, we I do it. That, yeah. But, okay, so I, I do that sometimes, but for a reason. Because there's some situations where I want to be, like, when I make a decision, it's, it's final. And I want to be correct about it. So mm-hmm. I usually make my biggest decisions in my brainstorming sessions I have weekly. So if you ask me a question and you want the answer to be correct and you want honest advice, there's sometimes where I refuse to think about it. Like, mm-hmm. Willie's been telling me my AMG insurance is not, like, it's, 
I don't yeah. know, I have insurance on it. Yeah. Willie keeps bringing it up. I'm like, Willie, I'm actually not going to think about that right now. Like, I don't even let the thought cross my mind because I'm dealing with some other shit. Yeah. When I brainstorm and I'm doing my breathing exercises, I'll handle that later. Mm. So when I, compart- when I compartmentalize when I make decisions, when I'm not in those moments, then I could just think freely. I actually think, I thought everybody just did that. Like, they instead of they prioritize certain things that was going on in their life. And you'd be thinking like, well... I have another car. I actually have two other cars, so I'm not really concerned about if that car isn't able to drive right, right now. Right. Like, I'm definitely not concerned about that. So, yeah, everybody should be doing that in general. But, yeah, if you can... Because I think that's just another... I think there's a better way to label stress anyway as just pressure. Mm-hmm. And it can be released as long as you... And it's not negative. It. it is actually not negative. And you should feel that even when it's overwhelming, it's it's a it's like eating uh, spinach. Uh, when you eat spinach, spinach... Uh, any any plant plants don't want to be eaten plants have life fuck the vegans that don't think other vegans are claim they love plants and kill them i love i love chicken but i'm killing it that make no fucking sense plants don't want to be eaten plants actually emit toxins in, yeah. in bullshit that will kill something like a caterpillar because it wants to protect itself yeah it's a life it breathes needs sunlight sunlight and water to fucking grow so they don't want to be eaten but when you eat it, as a human, you're so strong that it's actually a positive stressor. The mm. stress it puts on your body, is, it's like working out. The stress, the muscles you break down, it's positive for you. Yeah. You're getting fucking stronger. So plants are a positive stressor. Working out, even though it breaks down your muscle, it rebuilds it stronger. That's a positive stressor. Mm. Just think about the bullshit you go through as a positive stressor. And it's not always going to be positive. There's going to be yeah, some bullshit facts. you have to fucking deal with. Uh, and then you just put your head down and deal with it because that's the only thing you can do. That's, that's that's what I realized in my years of doing YouTube because there's there's plenty of reasons to be stressed on a fucking nice. daily basis. Like my last 2K drama got uh, demonetized, and that's yeah. not a huge deal in and of itself, but it is a huge deal when you consider the fact that that makes it way more likely to, for future videos to get demonetized, and I haven't been demonetized in a while. Mm. So I'm hoping that's not a constant thing I'm gonna have to deal with because uh, none of my other channels have to deal with that. But you ready to talk it. about this 2K20? Yeah, I, I had this shit open. I just seen it on my timeline. The flight, the flight just got a Yo, message Ronnie, from Ronnie. Ronnie hit you up for 2K21? He didn't hit me up at all. Why he not? said, check your DMs. I'm so proud of your growth and community. And I want you involved, so I want to talk to you. Hit me up. Now, this how, is... How do you think flight is going to violate him? I think flights can go with it. I think actually, I think fights can go with it, but I think at some point he's gonna violate. Yeah, he's definitely gonna violate. <laughs> so this is something I actually learned from KSI. Do you remember? Uh, do you do you know how KSI came up? No. So he played a whole bunch of FIFA. He mm. was the biggest FIFA guy. He had a whole bunch of iconic series, mm-hmm. and then he had this moment where he was like he would just say "fuck EA," and he was ruthless in his videos to the point where he would do skits pretending to be EA executives, and wild the fuck out in all of them. Yeah. There was a moment where EA stopped fucking with him and he said, fuck you. I don't need you. I don't care. And did his own thing. Yeah. But there's a certain like he was so big that they couldn't. They needed his influence. Yeah. And so they were, I remember before one of the FIFA's dropped, they invited KSI to play the game early. Only KSI. Mm-hmm. It was like there was like it was him there because he was that guy. Yeah. Feel me? And that's what I'm feeling right, right now about flight. He's that guy. He Doesn't is. matter what he said in the past. He He's is. actually become so massive that you need him. Imagine that, that he doesn't, they don't like each other, but he's so popping that they don't have no choice but to work with him. Is, is this like the greatest peak in 2K history? I'm, I'm saying right now, it's, like it's one of the biggest things on the internet. No, but I'm just talking about in 2K history. By far. But I don't even know if you categorize than, him as like, two, I know he does a bunch of 2K. I'm, I'm saying his influence on the game. I'm not talking about what he does. With one yeah, of us in I it. think he's the big, most influential person in the history of this community. In, so bigger than Smooth? By far. Okay. In, oh, you mean like just in terms of overall impact and lasting legacy? Yeah. It'd take like three more years to get there because Smooth did it over the course of a decade. That's tough. Um, but it's crazy, man. So he, I think he does have the second half. I think it's actually Smooth in flight. Yeah, but Smooth, smooth is, that's like saying like, is it who had a bigger influence, Grandmaster Flash or Jay-Z? It's like, but he, Grandmaster was at the fucking start of this shit. So, exactly. of course... He's going to have a huge impact because he was at the beginning when it played the fuck out. I like saying who had a bigger impact, your great, great, great grandfather or your father. Technically, but, but, everything started with the great, great, great grandfather. I know, but, but if, the, if the father can take it to even newer, like even bigger heights, like if the, if the grandfather took it from zero to 50, but the father took it from 50 to 200, mm. the gap that was gained, like sure, the, the impact is still there. But the gap that was jumped 
is just a greater jump. Like you see what I'm saying? Mm. Like as great as Oscar Robertson is or was, Michael Jordan's jump for the game is just it's still it's still high. That's what I'm saying. But but we're, when when you when we talk about goat in basketball, we're not talking about the most impactful. We're talking about the best. Are you we? Feel me? The greatest player of all time. Well, great and best are two different words, but I'm I'm talking about everything like impact as well. Oh, if you're talking about everything, I don't know. Man. Give it the rest of the year. Flight might be that guy, but for now, that was bad. I, and that would be crazy if he's able to catch up to um, Chris Moore in one year's time. Word. Because um, to be honest, with you, I don't even think it's actually. I don't even think it's close. I actually think it's only them two. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a third, but I mean, in the two nah, K community, hell yeah, you could Ooh. you could argue. Um, don't, say, don't say yourself. Don't say yourself. I wasn't gonna. Okay. You could argue what Jester and Cash did for my team. You could argue what Troy know. Dan's been up to. Troy Dan, okay. I'll how relevant he's been able to stay for how fucking long? But still, I, I, I don't know about Jester and Cash. I for, I don't and, remember and, when they came up. I remember them too. Yeah, of course. Cash blew up with my team, mm-hmm. and then Jester, like the whole editing style of my team was changed because of Jester. Mm-hmm. Jester and Epic High. Mm, that's a throwback. That's stupid. Though. Yeah. Oh, speaking of throwbacks, um, Fire Pop, hit me up. Word. Fire Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hit me up. But um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I just don't. That's and that's fine. But if for Flight to ever get to the point, because Flight is now on a whole nother platform, breaking records in the two K community. Yeah. That I don't even think anybody could come close to that. What Flight did earlier this year. Just playing 2K, you can literally take everybody's viewership on a random day, like on a on a popping Saturday, and multiply it by two, and it still wouldn't get to the near 80k that he had. Yeah, like that is on a to even contemplate to think that at some point he didn't do it on a wager neither. Didn't do it on a wager, just playing regular 2K and could just go on there and play it, and nearly 80,000 80, people are watching him. I don't know if they, I don't even think. And again, I understand what you're saying. But I just don't think that there's a. I that that peak is that's a crazy peak. That's damn near. That's a hundred. That's that's eighty one points in a game. Like yeah. that's crazy. Like yeah, he's one of the biggest things on the yeah. internet right now, across all socials. Uh, so yeah, that that easily means that he's he's in the Hall of Fame for sure. The only um, thing about the only thing about Chris Move is like niggas' terminology actually changed because of him, which I guess so has flight. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, accidentally I said that's my spot in a video. That's my type of shot right there. That's my spot. I said that in the video. I didn't even mean to say it. I just watch so we, much fucking flight that I just believe a spot I hit a shot is my spot now. Very true, but we get into that now. Like I don't think I've ever heard niggas say like splash before Chris Move. He didn't start splash. I'm not saying he started. I don't think it would, it became popular before Chris Move. Yeah, NBA commentators would say it. When? Like in the two thousands. I gotta hear it. I have to hear it. Cause I thought I felt like that shit only got popular like 2010s. I could be wrong. Uh, you're right. His influence. Yeah. His catchphrases. Yeah. Yeah. Someone was lost. You gotta give that guy a map now. <laughs> like new, that was new a thing. Move. New move like, alone. If you could, you walk around with auto tune. <laughs> yeah, facts. Facts. Uh, so without a shadow of a doubt, interesting conversation. But I don't know. You're gonna have to wait for it to play out. Cause yeah. that's like saying who's better. Um, no, Stephen Curry is better. Uh, then who, like, who? Then who? Then who? Say it. I'm not gonna say it. Say it. I want. I want you to. I want to hear the person he's about to say. <laughs> I'm just saying that because say Chris Move Miller? has done this longer. Is Reggie Miller? No, trash? we all not yeah. Reggie Miller. Fuck yeah, Reggie Miller. That nigga trash. I see what you're saying though. <laughs> <laughs> That's like saying who's a better dunker, Dominique Wilkins or Vince Carter or Aaron Gordon. Now. Now, Aaron Gordon has been in two of the most iconic dunk contests Which ever. Is crazy. He did make the dunk contest fun and relevant again after years of it being horrible. But we got to see more before we put him over Dominique, especially in games and shit. I'm just saying. So True. just talking about dunking, not talking about his fucking basketball performance. Although he's been getting way better at that too. I but um, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But going back to the 2K20 stuff, 2K21 stuff, what was the, what was the stuff that they were handing out to people? I don't... Oh, so uh, apparently some content creators got like a box and it had some information yeah. on it. You got you got one of those? I ain't get a single box. Damn, that's from tough, her. Ronnie. What's up with you, bro? Um, we, we spent all that money on fucking VC all year long. Yeah, still we've been not? buying things all oh, man. Man, what's saying? What the hell? What's up with you, Ronnie? Let me find... Yo, by the way, Trey bought a house and he's about to put a court in the house, which is some boss that's fucking some shit. Boss shit. He bought land, bro. And he bought the custom <laughs> bill on his land. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, his shit blew up. Like, how much retweets does it have? Okay, so this is the video. I'm going to let it play. Oh, that's way too loud. Look what just came in the mail. I have a package right here with, well, it looks like NBA 2K21, but there's a lie in it. I don't know why it's censored. Okay, we're going to open this up right now. I don't even know what's inside. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Get ready. You are invited. NBA 2K21 cover athlete announcement July. It's a, there's nothing there. It's okay. July. It says July. 2K day in September. NBA 2K next level holidays 2020. What does this mean? I think the More legend information to come. Be okay, okay, hold on. What's there's, what is this? What is this? Uh, the next generation is different. 2K21 is changing the game. Want to get in the? What does that say? Big so they just stage. a bunch of things. Major though. in aerodynamic. Or makes but the big sentence everyone's wondering about is you forgot about the neighborhood. Splash. It's blank in the G. Um. So I mean, try as a perfect person to promote some shit like that because he's just so funny and goofy. What do you think? It's it never gonna come up. I don't know, but I hope they did some wild shit with it. Just some out of nowhere type, blow my mind type shit. But um, I'm not gonna wait for that because. <laughs> I don't want to be let down and be miserably depressed. But the, well, the, they, sh they should because it's a new, new generation. Mm -hmm, I agree. And they they were limited severely. Like all the frame drop issues, mm -hmm. the lag on certain courts issues. And so I, I but it, it was that was because of poor optimization. It mm -hmm. wasn't because they were limited. They were limited, but they could have optimized better, too. Uh, regardless, I am excited to see what they do with the PS5 and shit. But they're actually not right now talking about the PS4 version of the game. And I don't know if you saw, but Madden was just promoting their current gen console version of the game. And everyone was like, man, what the fuck is this shit? And I saw QJB putting out a tweet like, oh, y'all never happy type shit. Yeah. Um, but I'm interested to see what they do with current gen because we, we, I'm gonna, I'm most likely going to be excited for whatever they do on next gen. It's a next gen. How could you not be excited? True. Well, I'm curious to see what they do with current gen because that could just be the, the same copy and paste. And I would not I, be surprised, but I hope not. I'm pretty sure it will be because that's what they did last year. It yeah, was a copy and paste. It was literally a copy and paste. But um, so, do you know when the PlayStation Five comes out? Uh, September. If it comes out in September, PS Five release date is holiday twenty twenty. Yeah, I don't think it's oh, gonna November, come out September. Then, November. Then. But if it comes out in November, that means there's gonna be a couple months. It's gonna be copy paste. Yes, it's gonna be copy paste. So I hope that's not the case, but it's very well fucking possible. And I'm sure everyone's gonna at me in this Ronnie tweet for over the course of the day. So that means that you're gonna have um, what you call it. You gonna have two? Y'all gonna drop two releases? Yeah, that's it should be intense. Y'all gonna be going crazy. But it's like okay, so let's let's talk about this. If the for if if two K twenty one comes out on the PS four and it's ass, I can't control how the game comes out. I'm still gonna make content. Oh, you ain't got no other choice but to. Exactly. I'm gonna do as best as I can, you regardless shit, of the circumstances. Just shit on it for like three months and then wait till the next. <laughs> just make three three months. However, worth of content and shit on it. However, ends up playing out. I just know I do it to the best. So that's why I, I can't even trip about it. Like 2K18 was ass. Fuck it. What can I do except drop these videos? I could criticize the game in every single video. I could do a moments video here. Like mm -hmm. I did a vlog at the beach one time because I was like, I don't even know what I'm gonna do today. Hey, let's bring the camera out, do a vlog at the fucking beach. I was just talking the whole time about random shit in the future. I swear to God. But it's like that's what 2K18 was like. <laughs> like we was going through it. So you wanna? Are you gonna? Um... Damn, I just fucking drew a blank. What were we and talking? You about? never do that. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? Wow, you're holy to, shit! You're supposed to be good memory guy, man. I'm supposed to be the guy who forgets shit. What the fuck? You good? No, I'm not, because it's actually tripping me out. What the fuck is going on? Nah, you'll get it back, man. I believe in you. 2K. We were talking about 2K18 being horrible. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't say no another 2K. 2K21 was horrible. I just uploaded anyway. Talking shit about the game or whatever. Getting excited for the game. Being super gassed about the game. PS5 comes out, and they better do the most. They better hire... Oh, new. you think they're going to... um. Are you going to go to community day? If they invite me. But just if, even if they don't. Why would I pull up to some shit I'm not invited in? Let's just for the vibes, you know? <laughs> I do the same thing I did this time. What? They didn't invite me to community. what I do? I just dropped the video about how I wasn't invited to community day and that shit blew up. Mm, <laughs> like, talk to I just do what I can, man. But this right here is going to be... Okay, that's what I meant to ask. On this year's community day, are they going to have... Do they have the ability to get like an early version of PS5? 2K probably does. They probably they probably already have PS5s because that's how they. they um, oh no, I would doubt. I don't think they they haven't ported the game yet. 
No, no, no. They, they have PS5s. I'm bugging. They have PS5s. So that's the same. You don't think that people who go there will have the ability to play on PS5s? No. Because Sony will be pissed. There's no way that doesn't leak. Especially because 2K has leaks all the time when they have events. Mm. I wouldn't let 2K run a public or even a private event with random people from the industry or mm. media person. No, there's too many things that's going to leak. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, I want Sony. Sony wouldn't let them do that. But it is interesting that it's part of Sony's conference. I wonder if they yeah, have any. That was, yeah, that was interesting. Because it didn't feel like it belonged there. But I guess Sony just they needed filler. <laughs> so yeah. they said, Especially let's add to any, any of the other, um, what you call it. But they did that last time, right? When LeBron was talking and then like he was sitting down and he had him in the background. I don't remember. Yeah, I feel like they did it last time too. When it was a new generation, they had LeBron talking and him playing in the background. It was like the first time where you can like see somebody face that close up and he was talking and he had like, it was very, very fluid. Mm. I could be mistaken. But yeah, that shit was dope. Kobe will be on the legend version. That'd be crazy if Zion is already on the next year's cover. Oh, that was some shit toasted, man. Which actually looks fresh. I need, it to, I need it to pop more. Put some, put some topaz on it. <laughs> no. Stop. Put some colorista on that bitch. Um, like but yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually happy for... Um, I'm not happy. I'm happy for Flight, but I'm, I actually want 2K21 to come out. Like I'm actually ready for it, anticipating it, because 2K20 is trash, to the point where... I might just play 2K19 for the rest of the year, dead ass. Like, no, no joke. No, on these like, videos, yeah, I, no will, joke. I actually have fun on 19, and yeah. I don't know why. No joke. I on might just 20, play I left. 2K19. We were supposed to record two videos after we recorded that uh, yeah. Thousand Hours video. I was never going to do that with you. I didn't even want to do shit. I just laid there, <laughs> and I was. Yo, 2K20 put you through <laughs> clinical depression. I swear to God. I swear like, to as God. soon as I get off, when I get off of 2K, like when I get done playing 2K20 now, I feel like I just worked a nine to five job and I just put in an overtime shift. Like, <laughs> nigga, like, fuck, this shit is finally over. Holy uh, fuck. Yeah. Like, when niggas be like, yo, another game? I'd be like, oh my fucking God. Like, nigga, it's torture. Like, why are we playing another game of this? Word. That's tough. 2K, that's, it's a game should never, never, ever, ever, like ever feel work. Like that. Man, what a shame! And I don't and I don't even record the shit for work. Imagine niggas literally having to boot up two K to go play on Twitch for hours, nigga. <laughs> Before you came, because you took like an hour, you were an hour late to the shit. Me and Vortex played three games in the my court, and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna record tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, nigga! I'll be thinking to myself, nigga. I don't know how I'm gonna fucking survive for the next. Eight hours, bro, because I'll be just contemplating suicide after I get done playing 2K. You trying to get this video murked, huh? That's specifically, you trying to get it murked. Well, I just, <laughs> <laughs> just start yelling that shit. Oh, uh, speaking of which, I told you about the um the time. Um, hey, man, you're in love. No, no, the time. my bad, my bad, my bad. Yo, I ain't say shit, and, and now I have to edit that out. What what time is it? I this? ain't say shit. I ain't say shit. I ain't say shit. You don't have to edit that out, man. Yo, come on, bro. Come on. Why are you telling me? I was people? supposed to be on a date today, by the way. Oh, for real? Yeah, but she canceled. Mm, how you feel about that? Shit happens. Actually, relieved because you probably got a lot of shit to do. Yeah, actually, because I didn't know how I was going to tell her, like, you had to work around these two things that I accidentally scheduled on the same day. That's tough. That's <laughs> tough. That's tough. Um, no, nah, but it sounded like she had something serious. So, um, Oh, well, two things. Hey, I, I told you when I almost um, ran over. Those people? No. Oh, I'm supposed to have another date tomorrow too. Oh shit! Look at you going on a date. Oh shit! So that's how that's how it's working out right now. You feel me? Oh shit! So you, you gonna find a love of your life? Hopefully not. I'm actually kind of hoping I don't. What? Yeah, no cap. Because you said love, bro. That's uncontrollable. I don't need some more shit I can't control in my life. Yeah, but I, it's something that's good though. Until you know, you know, you know, a boogie said, a boogie just dropped a new song about just heartbreak. You know, he got me my feeling. I'm like, I don't even know if I want to go through that. Man. But what if he's like, first of all, heartbreak does yo, niggas got to stop acting like <laughs> niggas got to stop acting like they don't get their heart broken because that should be OD. I like, might, I that might not though. I haven't felt that way before. And you're gonna, you're gonna fake it too. I know you're gonna be the one that's like, nah, I really didn't care like that. No, genuinely. I mean, am I not the most detached person you know? But when it happens, though, you're going to be like... Yeah, I might. I might. You're going to be like, I ain't even... That shit ain't... That shit like... Nigga dying inside. I ain't... That's like... No, I'll be real, though. I'm, I might, no, I might, would not. I might lie on the podcast. No, you would not. I might lie on the podcast, but if I was just talking to you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be strong for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be honest. I'd be like, yo, I'm not feeling... <laughs> when you put it like that, niggas being strong... <laughs> 
around a man's for no reason. Like, nigga, why you being prideful right now? You think I'm being tough now, man? Yeah, nigga, like, I don't care what, like, how you, how you, you know, deal with your emotions, nigga. But niggas do that, and you're going to do that. You be like, bro, she I'm really, she really went in there. Have I ever really done that around you? Just capped about the way but I you've felt. you've never been in love. So Not when you're like, in love and she breaks your heart because she's going to cheat on you? Wait, Boogie, say it. I, if she ever cheated on me, trust me, I wouldn't be bugging. I just would never talk to her again. But if you were in love, though, wait, Boogie, say. Wait, I don't, he said DTV don't trust these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was crazy. Yeah. It takes like a certain level of, you have to be so courageous to trust a female nowadays. <laughs> Yo. Because I swear to God, like, man, I already know. I already know. It's like, so why? Why am I? Like, Especially when they cap about shit that I know is not real. Oh man! When they start just saying shit, like, I'm like, but there's no way. So As a why busy individual, I know when someone's capping about busy, and that happens really frequently. It's actually very refreshing when someone just tells me at this point, "Oh, I'm not doing shit right now." Yeah, and then until, the until they find out that like I like really ambitious women, so they think like they got to be doing something all the time. It's like, no, then you're not gonna have time for me. That's not. Gonna- <laughs> It's actually not how it's going to work at all. You could just be honest if you're not doing shit. I'll find out. You don't have to lie. Trust me. Yeah, that's and that's another thing. I think, like, I don't think they realize, like, I feel like some, a lot of times women just be trying to fit in. So they be like, oh, no, yeah, I do this. Oh, yeah, I do that. And I'll be like, all right, we're going to figure out. Yeah, we'll and see. And then as soon as, I, as soon as I figure out, capping. So you just, then you're going to just break my heart, right? I don't know. I haven't felt that. I hope I never do. You're going to feel it one day. Yeah, I, I, that's, I'm dead hoping I don't bump into a woman that, like, is just perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and it's like, oh, man, oh, man, this, what is this situation here? I'm just, now I'm thinking about, like, why isn't she texting me back? If I ever had, if that thought ever has to cross my mind, I already know what I'm in store for. So that's for. never crossed your mind before? No. Like, if she didn't hit me back, then that's bad for her because I'm not about to hit you. So you're going to miss out, but that's whatever. See, I think that's cap. You've never thought to yourself, like, yo, why didn't why she hit me up yet? If she says she can hit me up and she doesn't, yeah. But if if I don't expect her to risk, if I ask a question and she doesn't, I'll be like, yo, has she responded? She hasn't responded. But you never thought to yourself, you know, you're not one of the insecure niggas going to be like, yo, she probably fucking another nigga. You never, you never, you never go to that. No, point. no, no, no. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Some of y'all cornball ass niggas, bro. She could be though. But I, but like, who cares? Exactly. But like, no, but a lot of them, like niggas be like, because I dead ass be having friends tell me like, yeah, bro, she probably just talking to some other nigga. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know, maybe she is. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> like, but why do you care that much? He's like, yeah, no, nah, you're right. I don't care. I don't fuck you hoes, bro. I, I don't trust you hoes. <laughs> I'm like, nigga. Right, right? I be like, yeah. <laughs> they be like trying to have me like, right? We don't trust you hoes, right, bro? I'm like, no, nigga. That's just you, nigga, who in your feelings right now. Just because she ain't takes you back. I, I Don't do, drag me into that. I, I'm, I am, though, very guarded at mm. first. Very. Because... Let's talk about that. There's a, lot, there's, a, there's a lot of artificial reasons for someone to want to be interested in me. A True, lot. But like, why is it that when men are guarded, like we being like, they, be, they we view it as like, like females are like bitches. What? what? Wait, what? I kind of feel like sometimes when I like, I can't be, because like women can do the whole like rope a dope like, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't trust you. But like a man can't be like, a man, I don't think men can really say that. I don't think a man could like go out of his way and be like, I don't really trust you like that right now. I say that. Oh, you do? I tell him if I don't trust him. But I, I generally tell him like I trust you until you give me a reason not to. No, like like I don't trust you with my emotions. Oh, I don't. But that's what I'm saying. But I would have to know you say you that for, though. Um I've never said it. I, but women will convey that. That's what I'm saying. That they don't trust you with their emotions? Yeah. Yeah. No, I would never. I don't know, man. I just know that um, I don't know why that's not like a thing, like because that's not. I don't need. I don't need to unload my fucking problems on her or the way I'm feeling. I don't even know you that well to be doing some shit like that. I'm not saying we got to unload. I'm just saying in general, like like me being vulnerable around you and stuff like that. Like why you just why why I got to do that so quickly? What is what is what? Is, okay, give me a, give me an example of a situation. You've never been vulnerable around a woman before. Um, this Man, is you're I, a sociopath. No, I this forgot. is just I how forgot. I. This is how I, I move. Forgot. All right, check it out. It's just you. Nigga. I move in worst case scenario. What is the worst case scenario? Is I tell her something and then now everybody knows about it, so I just don't say shit, and it's not like a burden. Like honestly, I tell you way more than I've told 
any any woman in my life uh-huh. ever. I'm not lying. I'm your boo. <laughs> nah, but I just you it's get, not you. You vulnerable around me? Yeah, I say plenty of shit around you oh, that I wouldn't usually say. Damn, I'm I'm like I, I touch you like you feel comfortable around me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean, though. Like the fact that you feel like I don't, I think like people in general take that for granted. Like the whole concept of like me. Being comfortable around you enough to be vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I like when women are vulnerable around me. Yeah, exactly. But I don't like being vulnerable around them. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. But I don't think a lot of women, I don't think women acknowledge that though. I think that's a problem. I think women, and I don't really even, as a man, I don't really take it as I'm like, like you're just putting all this shit on my like lap or some shit. I just view it as like, that's just what it is. But I know for a fact, as a man, I don't, I don't feel that comfortable being vulnerable with you. Like I try to share, like just so we can, so you can continue to feel vulnerable. But it'd be like a lot of shit. I would just be thinking to myself, like I don't want nobody else to like really think about. Or like when if, if if a woman asks me how was your day, like the real answer is actually very long, and you're probably never gonna like hearing about it. So I just I just I right, was. But sometimes right. they do though. I think. Yo, or maybe I've convinced so myself. So long, so long, so long. I don't even answer that question honestly. I tried a couple times actually just to see what the response would be, and then. It's just a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit. But also, it, that that's why it comes back to understanding. They might. They, I don't even think they're gonna understand though. Like you know, what I'm saying like you you're not gonna get the gravity of me if I'm if I'm two hours in and I'm still looking for a title. Oh fuck! This video I just worked on is about to flop. And if it flops, the next video is way more likely to flop. And that could mean my whole career. This decision could be the start of the end for me. <laughs> And that's always how it's going to be online. And things change all the time. It's impossible to fully keep up. So it's like, I had to deal with that gravity, but there's no way for someone to understand that. So when I tell her, like, man, you know, I was thinking of titles and the video wasn't really working. It got demonetized a couple of times, a couple of copyright claims, you know, processing issues we always have. Mm-hmm. Like, she's just going to think like, oh, okay. But she's not going to, she's not going to understand. So it's like, what's the point of me even saying it? So I say it to you because you'll fucking understand. But I think sometimes it's just like good to like get some stuff off your chest though. Because it's a lot of things that women tell me I don't really I don't necessarily understand fully, but some people just they just want you know someone to listen to them, like listen to them vent. It's very therapeutic because especially like when it comes to I listen to her vent. Yeah, but I I think in general though people like that though because like therapists don't really know what the fuck you're going through, but niggas just sit there and tell therapists their entire life story. And niggas never been there a day in his fucking life, and all of a sudden he just supposed to know how you felt when you lost your go fish. Like nigga don't it's crazy. know. I actually called a therapist to get like a session and she's like, uh, you know, they, in Canada, it works like this. They ask you how much you make and they base how much they charge based on how you make. Yeah. I, I capped out my mind, man. I told her I made 50K a year. Um, and yeah, she gave me a good rate. She gave me a, she gave me a good rate. Um, so just to see like what it would be like, mm-hmm. cause I was like, yeah, it might actually be kind of cool to just say everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I realized I don't need that shit. <laughs> See, they go that wall right there. Yeah, you put that wall right back up. I don't need that shit. Damn, Trump, you put that wall up like that. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I, I would, I would like to see when I find. No, take the take the wall down, bro. Let somebody else. Oh, in. that that wasn't really a wall because somebody else therapist be- legally can't say shit. So you know, you could say what. Actually, unless like you can, you might harm yourself or others, and then they could snitch on you, which is wild. They shouldn't be able to do that whatsoever. What? Um, yeah, they shouldn't. They shouldn't even be able to say a fucking word legally to anybody. I don't care what the circumstances is. Or else I'm not going to say shit. So you just don't say shit. Exactly. I don't. Are you implying that you say that you have things that you don't want them to know because they might snitch? Nah, that's not really what I'm worried I about. I to say, nigga, what the fuck? Honestly, at the end of the day, um, I, don't, I feel happy with life. Um, even when I feel very overwhelmed, I manage it and it makes me better. So I'm... Good for the next time when it gets worse because it will get worse because it's life. Problems mm-hmm. always find a way to get worse. Nah, nigga, get vulnerable and get real emotional with a chick and then let her break your heart and then that'll be a whole nother level of walls you have I'm, to I'm, put I'm, up. I did have to drop an R&B album if that happens. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> for the next three, four videos, this nigga uploaded shit in a dark ass background with like low, like low, low voice, like. Hey guys, Amen. it's Agent Zero back again with the video. Mm. 
know. You have to start with the sigh, actually. That's how you let people know you're being genuine. <laughs> YouTube and, rules. Uh, oh, guys, uh, I got me a Vortex here, and Lowe's going to join in a second, and we're just going to play some 2K21. If I ever see a video like that on your fucking channel, nigga, I might have to come up here and, like, literally, like, get you out of your room, bro. Like, I might have to... Make sure you don't commit. But you know what the problem is, Low? Is I'm like an all or nothing type of guy. You feel me? Don't say that. That's even worse. So exactly. So that's very oh. beneficial when it comes to things like YouTube. I'm I did this like shit. that too, that ass. Yeah, yeah. I did it for seven years without being paid because I was an all or nothing kind of guy. Like, mm. am I about to do this shit forever? <laughs> or I'm not about to do it at all. It's the same reason why when people ask me if I smoke, I don't smoke. I never smoked a single thing. Mm. Single. I don't even like to be in the vicinity while you're smoking. Actually, that's cap. Because in uni, I had no choice. All my roommates were smoking weed. So the whole house smelled like Kush all the time. Mm -hmm. In this house, she's good 24-7. But, like, <laughs> generally speaking, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't smoke at all. I've never drank. I'll never drink. Uh, actually, I had to sit by accident because I told the bitch to put on ice. Could put some ice in my fucking water. And he thought I meant Smirnoff ice or some shit. I was like, what the fuck is this shit, <laughs> man? <laughs> I'm about to say, man, what the fuck, bro? But that was the only time, and it tastes really garbage. It's very bitter and yeah, shit. Yeah, terrible. Alcohol tastes terrible. Yeah. Well, I'm about to say, um, oh, I, I think that's the reason why I haven't gotten a car yet as well. Because you want to get, the, I'm not, I don't want to have to upgrade. This is, this, you see, I, I yeah. feel you. But also, be careful with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just want to get what I want to get, and that's it. Yes. So if it, like, I got like a few cars in mind, and like, Technically speaking, I could get them right now. It's not like nothing really stopping me. But I just want to get the one I want to get. Like, I don't want to sit there because I hate when people sit there and try to tell me. Because I've, I've had this shit before. Where like, hypothetically speaking, I want, like, I want, I know you want a, a Ford F-150, right? I don't want nobody to fucking tell me. Uh, but you don't have to get the, the big monster wheels right now. Like, you can wait later on. What are you doing right now? Jesus Christ. Or Instagram, keep going. I, I'm sitting there trying to tell people right now, like, like, I don't want nobody to tell me, because I want, like, a Ford F-150 with a huge-ass monster truck wheels, right? Those go for a lot, by the way. I know. That's the most expensive mod is wheels. I know, right? Yeah. So, but I don't want nobody to tell me, like, oh, but you don't really have to get the, like, no, I do right now, actually. That's, <laughs> I actually kind of do, actually, because that's the type of shit I'm going to be driving around in. So, when y'all see me, y'all know what's up. I'm going to be looking like a redneck as soon as I hop out that Ford F-150, and that's a fact. Yeah, so I'm with you on that. Facts. I'm a lot like that. You know, it's very bad when it comes to things like eating. I had the craziest oh, binge you, eating though. issue. I'd eat 10K, 10K calories a day, and that's not an exaggeration. That's what I regularly did. And I'd feel bad, so I'd go play basketball for four hours um, and lose, like, maybe one-tenth of the calories I just fucking consume playing basketball. So it's like, in a relationship, I'm going to do this. If I, yeah, I, there's women that I like or that I'll talk to or that's cool, mm -hmm. but I don't feel weird or I don't feel like I need them. I don't have to text you. Like, I'll text you once a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, like I, I only really text to meet up anyway. It's like, what are you doing? Like, let's do something. Mm -hmm. um, but if I ever feel like, oh, I'm like, I can't, like, I want to talk to her and be with her all the time. I don't even know how I'm going to move. I don't even want to put myself in a situation where I'm moving. That's bad for business. I, I got too many things going on and be infatuated with another human being. So I hope it doesn't happen, but it probably will be a great fucking feeling. <laughs> it I, might not I be kinda, good for me though, and it, it won't be good for me. I kind of feel like it, if you like the, I, I don't, I don't want to say perfect because no like perfect, but the type of woman you would want to look for is someone who would be understanding though. Like they'll sit there and they understand like what you're going through and they'll help you through it. Like they're not going to just sit there and be a deterrent to it. Like they'll give you your space, understand what you need to do, be a, like stuff like that. I guess, but what? unless I'm obsessed with her and she's not fucking with me, she can be obsessed with me too. So she's not gonna be able to. You feel but, me? So but, it's being, like, but you can be understanding and be obsessed with someone. I guess uh, I've actually never had that situation, so I'm speaking out of uh, my realm here. So shit, I might be in there right now. I know. Yo, you're bugging. <laughs> yo, you're bugging. Yo, let's wrap up this podcast. Oh, like, shit, you're you're old 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 Oh man, you're old in right now. We at the end of the podcast, so I can talk about it right now, right? Because you're not gonna watch about the end of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's a good call. Man, amazing date last night. Just fantastic. Mm. Oh man, about to be some snitches in the comment section too. <laughs> Word, I heard, man. I heard. It's already three o'clock though. You you got something you got to do? I, I, I just emailed him in the middle of the pod. Told him give me ten more minutes, man. Anyway, I just had you yeah, amazing, amazing date. Seeing somebody right now. Um, not named Pretty Lust Pink. Yo, you, yo, you're done. You're bugging right now. This is no troll. This is no troll low. No he's, troll, he's actually not troll. No troll low. No troll low. Very, very. Uh, why are you looking? See, this is the reason why I'm I just, can't. I'm trying I to can't, listen. I can't take you serious. 
And it's for all the people out there who stand at the end of the podcast. So no troll low. I think I found somebody I be, might be serious with. I'm like, I'm like, 90, <laughs> I'm like ninety percent sure, ninety percent sure right now. What's up with you? Oh man, oh man, oh man. What's up with you? You good? Oh man, oh man. It feels man, good too. It feels oh great. man, oh man. Man, oh man, oh man. Woo! I know you was feeling good because Lo walked upstairs and was like, hey yo! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, what he gassed about today? Oh, you know, when he walked shit. by me and he was like, oh, he told me something. I don't know if you want me to say it on the pod, so I'm not going to say it. I was like, word. Now look down, you had this giant fucking white smile on your face, your teeth shining bright and shit. <laughs> I could tell you using Colgate, man. I could tell because, you know, all nine out of ten dentists, they recommend Colgate. Oh, and I was like, man, I'm so happy for Lo. I'm just so happy for him. Tell, tell him what I'm doing right now. Tell him how I'm acting different. Oh, he moving. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh man! Hey, hey! All right, we doing A and P shit. We we shooting videos. We making movies. All right, cool. I look down at my phone. It says Netflix payment information has changed. And you know, there's like, well, you use my Netflix. You mm -hmm. use my Netflix. A couple people in Toronto use my Netflix. So it's not like I'm like who? Because I didn't pay for Netflix. So long story, my Canadian bank accounts have zero dollars now. Mm -hmm. So the Netflix payment didn't go through. It was connected to my Canadian account. Yeah. So I just didn't have Netflix for a couple weeks. And, and I wasn't... And nobody in the house really watching Netflix like that. So we didn't... I wasn't in a rush to get the shit back, even though I knew I was going to do it eventually. You know, I, I'm in the car, and I'm like, who the fuck would change that? So I was like, yo, will he call one of our friends in Toronto? Mm -hmm. It's probably him. I don't know why he would do it, but it, it might have been him. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, Lo has someone over at the crib right now. So me and Willie call Lo, and I was like, hey, man, I, I just want to thank you for... You know, paying for my Netflix and shit. I hope you, you know, keep the subscription for the rest of the year, et cetera, et cetera. And I was just trolling because I was hoping that she would be there. I, I've learned to not put you on speakerphone no more. So you were not on speakerphone. And um, I was just thoroughly surprised that you booted up Netflix. I guess was embarrassed by the fact that we were broke. So we couldn't afford the next subscription and just pay for the shit because she was over and you won't look like a broke nigga, bro. <laughs> Shit. Oh, oh shit! Oh my now god! Put, now put in the comment section is is that simping? Because I don't think it's simping. Yes, it is. Oh my god! I've been paying for Netflix for fucking years. Everybody's been using my shit, and so I I'm didn't not, care. I'm returning the favor. That's not what That's you was doing. Annoying. You didn't do it to do like, some you shit. Had, you had the first year. I got the next year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, that's it. Now that's a that's a simp, man. That's a simp ass. Nah, like, that's a four gotta, level simp, right? That's a three like, and a half level simp. I'm saying like you. Oh, okay. So three and a half. Okay, I'll take three. Three and a half. I'll take three. Because it's not that crazy. It's I'll like thirteen dollars a month, but at the same time, you're paying for my Netflix to not look broke, which is fucking crazy. Wait, wait. wait. I'm also benefiting off your Netflix because I have an account on your Netflix. As I well. know that. So that's what I'm saying. So it's our Netflix. Cut that so shit. Just, it's I'm my not, Netflix. I'm, not, I'm just doing my part. You no, know bro. Saying? No, no, no. That shit was wild, man. I was like, oh, wow. Lowe's bugging right now. Downstairs cleaned up for the first time in a whole year. He brought a mop and a broom downstairs. I'm like, what the hell? It still looks like a disaster, though. He still has his fucking mattress on the floor and shit, which I rate, by the way. Mattress on the floor is actually more comfortable than on a frame, but you can't really bring anyone to a mattress on the floor, so... <laughs> Well, you could, but they might judge you. Um, <laughs> but didn't didn't receive any judgment at all, so that's facts. Yeah, yeah, that is crazy. I'm happy for you, though, man. You know what I'm saying? She's the type of girl that you pay a Netflix subscription for. And, so uh, you know it's real. So you know it's real, man. Which is crazy, because I don't think, a lot of times, I don't think, like, women just know, like, when they know, like, let me let, me let, let you know that it's real. Mm. And paying for a Netflix subscription and cleaning up my room, that's how you know I'm taking it serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, uh, what's that? Uh, Joe Budden has a crazy line where he's like, "You appreciate me. You appreciate me better if you knew me before." Mm. So she, she would, she would definitely appreciate what I'm doing now. She knew like how I used to, you know, get down. Word, because I didn't give For a most, fuck. Most women though, they come into this room and think it's like messy. And right now, this is the messiest it'll be. But even when I clean it and it's organized for me, they'd be like, "Oh, this this room is a disaster because it has wires everywhere and shit." Mm -hmm. So I don't, I generally don't care neither. Um, oh, but you know, I I normally don't don't at care. all. Yeah, at I all. normally yeah, no. don't care. I know. I seen your car, bro. I know. Yeah, normally don't care. Don't care. Don't. You care, need to do a care. tour inside of your car. That shit would be hilarious. Yeah, yeah I should. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Yeah. 
So that's that's what Lowe's been up to. You know what that's I'm saying? Why I'm, that's why I'm smiling a little bit, actually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know when you go, hey, yo, in the lobby, I'm like, oh, man. In the lobby? Is that what you just called it? Yeah, we got a lobby at the crib. Face. Man, but yeah, I feel I'm, I'm, I'm happy, bro. Or I hope I can get there, too. Well, I'm already happy, but in terms of like. You got to meet her, bro. I met her before. No, but like really sit down and chop it up. So I, I want you to sit down and meet her. Why you give me that face? Come on, you know I'm a troll if you didn't let me do that. No, why? Why? Because there's gonna be no option but to troll. I don't actually want to get to know her. <laughs> but you got to though. <laughs> you already introducing her to your friends and shit. Relax. Give yeah, I think I need to slow down, right? <laughs> 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 Relax, keep it low. I'm man. low key waiting for y'all to tell me that too. Like, yo, low, you need to slow down. For yo, you've been on four dates in a fuck. I don't know how much you're gonna say, but you've been on a lot of dates this week, bro. Yeah, too late, you already said it, right? <laughs> so so you already moving too fucking fast. Yo, I don't care how much I like you once a week, Max. Actually going out, like, or doing but things. The conversation is good, though. The conversation is amazing. It is. You hear, my, you hear my stomach? It was like I thought it was so much moving some shit outside, but no, it was, conversation is amazing. Uh, I'm happy for you. I genuinely mean it because all the women I'm talking to, they all fucking play games. Every single one of them, and they they probably don't do it on purpose. But you know, uh, there's actually one person I'm talking to that does not play games at all, and it's so fucking refreshing. Yeah, it is refreshing. So, oh my god, it is, it is it's so refreshing because I play games too. We, but, we gotta talk about that too. But like defensively though, but, but I like, like, I like you're not gonna be the only one doing this shit. Trust honestly, me. like if, if everybody honest with themselves, I like a little toxicity in the oh, relationship. Oh, for sure. Just just a smidgen. For sure. Just a smidgen. Though. And women like that shit too. So they like. Yeah, when you I think I think they do. I don't know. What's up? The ones who play games, they not definitely too much. Do. Not too much. Yeah. Why is this shit not? What's up with you? What's Bro. up? What's up? I got it. I got it. You gotta tighten it up. The Man. thing is not tight at the elbow. No, not that one. The other oh, right here. Yeah. Boom. Boom! Oh, yeah, clap it up, clap it up, clap uh, it up. No, stop. I'm just, also um. I had to leave my, in like for, three for minutes. That, yeah, no. For that reason, I couldn't like um. My I gotta get my brakes checked because I almost ran over some people in a crosswalk. We'll talk about that next pod. Um, it was like really close. Unless too. it's illegal, in which case we'll probably talk about that off podcast. I was this close. I mean, dead serious too. Just like, I, I mean, what did, like, I, tell, um, what did I tell you about your car though? You're going to do something ridiculous mm -hmm. and you're going to know that if you had a better car, you would never been in that situation. Yeah. So you get some safety features. I, I told you because I did the mm -hmm. same thing with my fucking Honda. Love mm -hmm. the Honda. Mm -hmm. Had an 08 Accord. Mm -hmm. And the uh, only reason I got rid of it is because brakes fucking sucked. Didn't have lane keep assist. Didn't have no backup camera. Like I had nothing to keep me safe. If I got in an accident, there's a, when Kevin Hart got in an accident, if he was in a Tesla, he'd be fine. He'd be fucking fine. Be looking but he was in an old ass car in the 70s or some shit. No know. safety features. I see how Davis drive his Tesla. Yeah. And he's fine still. He's still alive. True. I'm telling you. Just do it for yourself. Don't because don't Damn, what if De Davis had a, a regular car? He, he might be in an accident already. He's been in plenty. He's hit, he hits curbs every week. I'd be on FaceTime with him. He'd be like, oh, just hit a curb. <laughs> but he might actually just run over people like, oh. <laughs> just ran over somebody. Is that a was that a, I heard a skull crack. Oh, was that a curve? Was that a skull cracking? I can't tell the difference. I played too much Mortal Kombat. Oh, shit. Hey, um, thanks for listening to the podcast. If you guys are new, we drop these podcasts every Monday and Thursday on YouTube. You can Facts. find the video. Make sure to go. No, the gang, 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 gang. Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play. People, thanks for showing love. Apple Podcasts. People, five make sure stars. to drop a five star. If you guys haven't already, do all that stuff and listen to the podcast nine times and recommend it. And a special shout out to the word of mouth people Facts. who've been blowing up my damn noties Facts. on Twitter. Hey, yo, don't snitch on me either on Twitter. They're going to do it. No, you said yeah, that. I mean, I mean, dead no, don't. Stop, stop. But no, dead ass, don't, don't snitch on me. Like, okay. dead ass, like. Because you said that, they're going to do but, it. But, hey, yo, between like us, don't fucking snitch on me on Twitter. Okay. Nah, she needs to know you have options. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, yo. All right, you got. You got you know, now I gotta cut shit out the fucking podcast, yo. I gotta cut shit out the podcast, yo. Hey, yo, she gotta dude. know. She gotta know. No, stop, she bro. gotta know. I'm cutting. Cut it off, nigga. <laughs>